students i rajna as a science teacher of grade 4 of spring bird school uh, how are you students hope all are you fine at your home but being bored don't be bored because i will teach you science in grade 4 let's i will introduce today with your new science books come near and see there what is the name of your book learn to explore this is published by minakshi atwar and let's go for the contents of these book they are there there is five units in the books if you will see that the first unit related to your plant kingdom in the first unit today we will read about our first chapter the green plants what is the name of this chapter the green plants let's come to your first chapter that is your first chapter the green plants in this chapter we learn about first of all our leaf the green plants make their own food and the last thing interdependence of the plants and animals so what we learn on these three in this chapter first of all we should know the chapter thoroughly what is the name of the chapter first lesson one the green plants what is the name of the chapter the green plants and today all you know first of all what are plants in the previous third standard in the environmental studies we have studied are plants and i will give you one revision of that about the plant in the plant basically many parts are there like if you will see i have drawn for you the flower but fruit stem root and leaf basically today we will read about our chapter about leaf so today topic is our leaf so before going to our today topic i will ask you some questions see there listen carefully i look very beautiful and may have various colors i help the plant to make seed again i will repeat my question i look very beautiful and have various colors and i help the plant to make seed what should be the answer flowers yes flowers i look very beautiful and may have various colors i help the plant to make seeds these are your beautiful flowers next i support the plant and absorb water from the soil i export the plant and absorb the water from the soil that are your roots yes that are your roots next third question i keep the plant upright i keep the plant upright and transport water to the leaves this is your stem next question i look green and make food for the plant i am also called the kitchen of the plant yeah this answer is your leaf so today topic is our leaves so let's continue with the today topic our leaf here i had made a structure of the leaf for you if you will see carefully i have drawn a structure of a leaf you will see many parts a leaf is having so i will tell you the today the leaf part first of all the main part of the leaf with which it is attached to the main stem this part is called petiole what it is called petiole then if you will see the broad part of a leaf if you will see any shape of the leaf this broad part of a leaf is called leaf blade what it is called leaf blade and the corner part from running to the parallel of this broad part you will see a corner part of the leaf that is called the leaf apex that is called leaf apex and you will see from the center of the leaf up to the apex a tube is running this tube is called midrib what it is called again i am telling you from the center of the leaf to the apex of the leaf a tube is running this tube is called midrib and these tubes are divided into many veins these are called side veins the tube made midrib is divided into many veins that are called side vein 
what are the function of these veins they will provide the water minerals to the leaves to make it to make their food then come to that after doing the structure of the leaves we should know about the internal structure of the leaves if you will see the internal of structure of the leaves they are having stomata and yet i have to tell you what is stomata like that if you will see your home our home is having many windows what is the profit of these window these windows are providing you the ventilation what do you mean by ventilation means the air should go out and the air should come inside same like that the stomata work for you work for the leaf what it is doing it is working as a window for the leaf it exhale out oxygen the breathe out air and it will take the carbon dioxide means breathe in the carbon dioxide for doing its function what is stomata it is type of a window present under surface of the leaves and having lots of guard cell which is protected by the guard cell like that when the air comes inside these guard cells will close like your window if the good air is coming in the window then we will open the window and when the air should come inside we will close the window same like that when they need the air this guard cell will open the air will come inside and when they had sufficient air inside the guard cell will become closed so the main function is the stomata to breathe in to breathe out they will breathe in the carbon dioxide and breathe out the oxygen then come to this next topic of yours the shapes of the leaves if you will see according to uh, in your surroundings lots of the leaves are there according to the shape today we will see the leaves first we will talk about the different arrangement of leaves according to the different arrangement if you will see in the plants here i have shown you there one leaf is attached to the main plant that leaf is called simple leaf when the leaf is attached single leaf is attached to a main stem that is called simple leaf but if the many leaves are attached to a single stem in a dividing part by so these are called compound leaves okay next come to your different edges of leaves according to the edges like that you will see entire edge they are divided into three entire edge tooth edge and lobed edge you will see the different entire edge okay tooth edge they are having tooth type formation and if you will see in the lobed edge there is too much lobes are forming or according to the edge basis the leaves are divided into three have you seen then come to your next different shapes of the leaves if you will see carefully you can able to detect that different shapes of the leaves in different shapes you will see first shape is your spear shape what it is spear shape next you will see the round shape what is this the round shape next come to your third shape that is palmately shaped palmately lobed shaped okay next is third one is your palmately lobed shaped then come to the fourth different vein patterns of the leaves veins i had told you these the side veins the vein which is helping the what leaf to absorb according to this vein design vein patterns the leaves are divided into two types parallel variation and reticulate variation if you will see in the parallel they are standing straight in the reticulate variation you are seeing the distribution of the different type of veins so for the today what we have done we have read about our leaf and the different arrangements of the leaves according to this i am giving you some homework what you should do in the homework you will collect the different type of the leaves like come here i had collected 
टू और थ्री विच वन इज नियर टू माई सराउंडिंग विदाउट गोइंग आउट फ्रॉम माई होम डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द लीव दिस वे यू शुड कलेक्ट द लीव एंड वट यू शुड डू लाइक अ नोटबुक यू शुड टेक एनी प्रीवियस नोटबुक यू शुड टेक एंड कीप द लीव ऑन द पेपर ऑन द नोटबुक एंड ट्राई टू ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द लीव वे लाइक दैट आई हैव ड्रोन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द लीव एंड इन द सेकेंड एक्टिविटी वॉट यू शुड डू यू शुड टेक द इम्प्रेशन लीव प्रिंट ऑन द पेपर हाउ यू शुड डू दिस एक्टिविटी आई हैव डन बाय टेकिंग अ लीव एंड पुटिंग द कलर ऑन दैट यू कैन यूज इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग वॉटर कलर यू कैन यूज योर स्केच कलर्स रब द स्केच कलर ऑन दैट एंड देन पुट द स्टैम्प ऑफ दर लाइक दैट तो यू विल गेट अ लीव प्रिंट सो डू दिस एक्टिविटी ऑन टूडे एट योर होम बाय प्लकिंग द लीव टू थ्री लीव एंड ट्राई टू डू दिस एक्टिविटी इन योर एनी रफ नॉट बुक एंड विद इन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर विद इन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी शुड डू द फोटो सिंथेसिस अप टू दैट यू शुड स्टे एट होम फील सेफ टेन दल बाय बाय